Hello everyone, this is Chuck Carnival, co-founder of FastGraphs, the Fundamentals Analyzer software tool. With this particular video, I'm going to cover not just Prudential Financial, which is obviously going to be the stock that I'm going to use, but I also want to make some notes of what's been happening in the general financial sector with insurance carriers along the way here. What I want you to notice is that coming into the Great Recession, if you look at Prudential here, I want you to notice that the market was valuing this stock at around a 15 PE. That's the multiple of the orange line on this graph. This is the theoretical fair value multiple by using one of our formulas. But I want you to notice since coming out of the Great Recession, I want you to focus on the normal multiple or the best fit line, if you will, and notice that the market has valued this stock at around 11 multiple. Now, keep in mind, these valuation references are never perfect. They're meant to give you a thing to measure and think again. So if I shorten the graph here from just coming out of the Great Recession, I want you to notice that principal financial group has been trading at about 9.3 times earnings here, operating earnings, and it hasn't even gotten near the 15. So the marketplace has, is telling us that perhaps that because of the financial debacle, the fact that all the earnings results of many of the major financial companies collapsed because they were investing in this toxic paper and they were you know participating in the loose money that actually took us into the Great Recession. So we've had this kind of reset. So if you look at companies like Prudential, you'll see that you know, they're recently trading that we'll call it a 9 to, to 12 multiple, maybe 10, 11 multiple would be what I would think. I think of it really as a 10 multiple, quite frankly. So, you know, looking at it with a blended PE of 8.39 and a 3.9% current dividend yield, I've got an A-rated company with 21% debt to capital which is very good. Now, they were participating in that toxic, you know, free money era coming in that probably stimulated the Great Recession. So when I look at their performance, I do want you to notice that they did slash their dividend during the Great Recession by almost by half, really. But, but then once they started paying a dividend again, they grew it. It took them two years to get back to their previous high dividend and their dividend has been growing quite nicely ever since. Now, the company has outperformed the S&P 500 on total cumulative dividend, dividend income going back to 2001, and it's outperformed it on a total return, 6.6% capital appreciation basis, 66 versus 5.6%, for a total return of 8% versus 6.5% in the S&P. So it has been an outperformer. Now, if I shorten this time frame and look at the great, you know, coming out of the Great Recession, as I did a minute ago, I want to point out that this has been a great time for the S&P 500. So here we're looking at comparing one of the best performance decades, if you will, for the S&P 500 and see how Prudential stood up to that. And you'll see that a $10,000 investment on December 31st, 2008, would have grown to $33,859, pretty much a dead heat with the S&P, just slightly outperformed it, but it did produce almost twice as much dividend income, so we get a full percentage point advantage over the general market that's measured by the S&P, and I want to keep in mind that that's accomplished that by trading at a very low multiple. The S&P trades at a very high multiple right now in contrast. So now if I look at going forward and look at what this company is capable of doing, if I utilize that 15 PE, you know, the, the future rates of return here, if it does ever revert back to that mean, if the market, let's say, forgives the financials and it gets back there, the rates of return going forward could be extraordinary. But if I use that normal multiple, and I'm going to pick that roughly 10, this is 9.58, I've got, you know, 51% annualized coming out by the end of the year. But if I go out a year and a half, I've got a 23% annualized rate of return. And if I go all the way out to 2021, I've got an 18% rate of return. And this is an A-rated company with a 3.9% dividend yield. And the fact that they did cut their dividend during the Great Recession in half is also functionally related to what I would call that aberration that they were participating in with free money. But otherwise, they've got really a good dividend record. And so this is one that I think dividend growth investors might want to take a close look at. I will just very quickly here. I recently did an article on Principal Financial Group. I just want to show you a couple of other companies in the financial industry just to give you a perspective that we've got the same kind of undervaluation issue going on. Here's the Principal Financial Group, you know, normal valuations coming into the Great Recession 
trading at a much lower PE. If I go to that 13 that I did with Prudential, you can see it's about a 10 PE again. Another one that you might want to take a quick look at would be Aflac. Now, I'm not going to get into much more on these videos here. I just wanted to point out that these financial companies right now are currently being valued at these lower 10-ish PE ratios by the market. So, when you're looking at financials today, you want to take into consideration that the market has been discounting their valuations since coming out of the Great Recession. And, and before you make an investment, you want to consider like Aflac may be a little overvalued on that regard. But what I just showed you with Principal Financial Group and Prudential, those stocks look very attractive at this level. Anyway, this has been Chuck Carnival saying thanks for watching. I wanted to give you a little perspective that the financial sector is being, you know, you have to kind of reset your view of what fair valuation is. If you like this video and get feel you got benefit out of it, don't forget to hit our subscribe button below. Thanks again for watching.